Whenever we were uh, sitting on the bench while Dad was playing his show, um, really quietly because you know it's going out on the air. Good at that. Yeah, I was good at that. But uh, you know, by profession, I'm a percussionist, musical theater, do a lot of shows and things like that. Well, Dad would be playing the stories, accompanying, and then Daphne Duck would come out, and Dad would grab the duck call. And then Wilting Willie would do his thing. And Dad had the slide whistle, and he'd be whoop, beep, whoop, beep, whoop. find out if Willie was wilting or not. And Dad's sort of doing all this acting with the sound effects, and I'm sitting there going, that's a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> and so that really planted the seed of the direction I went in line. I think she was one of the greatest teller of stories I ever encountered in my life. I could just sit there and hear her, you know, talk about the, the, the uh, dancing tea kettle or the, well, the elephant's child is still a record we listen to at home. She'd just paint a picture with, with words and she, and she did voices and, and uh, she just, I wish I could put a finger on it, you know, because she, she really would just had that gentle nature that would draw you into the world she was, she was describing. Yeah. Uh, around, what, 1970 or so, the show went kind of through a format change, um, and all of a sudden she became, she went to a place called Mystery Island, um, and it was just a, it was just a change in set, and I think a change in approach to the show. It went da to daily to, week to weekly, um, and Dad became, on camera, Mystery Music Man. They had a little Tom Thumb piano that they decked out with a steering wheel and, a fa and, and headlights and a fender. It was, it was the Beethoven Mark V, right? Something like that. And so he would, he, would, he would push the piano on, and they'd do on-camera sing-alongs, um, who, who threw the overalls and Mrs. Murphy's Chowder and things like that, and, and I'm a Little Teapot. Uh, but then they also had kids on the show to sort of bring in a live vibe to the show and I don't know I, I must have done it a dozen times or so I'm glad those tapes don't exist anymore <laughs>